What's up guys? It's Bobby. Let's play some games. This is Lakeview Cabin Collection, the prequel, the original Lakeview Cabin Collection game. It's supposed to be Lakeview Cabin 2, but not also not Lakeview Cabin 1. So anyway, this is a small collection, small collection I say, it's probably, it's pretty big. This is a collection of smaller puzzle games, kind of? So like, we have the three episodes, or the four episodes here, Lakeview Cabin 3, 4, 5, 6. There's a secret hidden episode, there is also a mini episode over here, that is the Christmas episode. There is also something to do here in this hub world. But for the first part, we will be going into Lakeview Cabin 2. Now, I, ha I deleted my save file before I did all this so that none of the stuff I normally have would be unlocked. Everyone's in their original starting place, which is here. Um, and yeah. So, unlike the last time, like, with like Lakeview Cabin 1, where uh, I don't know where anything is, I have this down fucking pat. I did a test before, before I just dis deleted my save file. So I would know where everything is and make sure I still had to do it all. And goddamn, did I do it almost perfectly. There's the killer. There's Red doing his thing. We'll pick up this. If you hit the pause screen. Congratulations to, your, to the new counselors of Camp Lakeview. Please help us ensure the camp meets the equality expectations of our visitors. We hope you have fun and a fun and rewarding summer working with us. Sincerely, Red. No, for, no fornification allowed on camp premises. Oh, well, thank you. And we want... Eh, we want this. So yeah, this is more based on, like... Um... Hall no, not Halloween. Friday the 13th. Stuff like that. I'm getting naked. Not what I wanted to do, actually. And the point is that there are two killers that are going to try and come and kill me, and I can prompt one of them early. Actually, I can't prompt them early at all. That's annoying. So normally there's a bell here after you complete it the first time or after you die the first time, one of the two. That if you ring it, it'll summon the killer. Um, that's not there, so I can't really do that. We need to kill it ourselves since the adults aren't doing anything. Meet at the girl's toilet when everyone is asleep. I think I found something that might help. You might notice that we're camp counselors. There's no kids. I think they're all dead. So I'm gonna I'm gonna build up some defenses here to uh, help us survive these killings. And weirdly enough, the thing that helps us is uh, is a teddy bear. But uh, anyways. Come on, everyone. Let's totem pole over there so I can transport. Oh, I can't totem pole them all? That's bullshit. Okay, fine. Let's go. So anyways, I need to build some defenses. I need a teddy bear. Now, I could get the teddy bear one of two ways. I could fuck on that bed with two or more characters, and that would do it. Or, I could uh, just get the axe from the end of the pier and break the fucking door down. That's what I'll do. Yeah, you can stay there. There's a sickle, there's red again. Or there's a red, I'm not sure if it's... I think it's like a reviving evil kind of thing where he just keeps coming back from the dead over and over again, right? May 20. Back at the camp. I really need to fix the holes in the new building before someone gets hurt. One second, I need, I need, a, I need a drink. Throat is dry. One second. That's, that's, that's a good stuff right there. June 3rd. Some kids say they heard a baby screaming last night. Probably just to scare the younger ones. Dot, dot, dot. June 10th. New owner. New owner. Seem to have a bit of a temper. Better just stay out of the way and focus on my work. June 27th. I think there's something in the water. Feeling kinda uneasy. July 2nd. A kid went missing last night. The sheriff is shutting the camp down until further notice. Should probably look for a new job. So I guess the kids are just not here. But then, we're here to be camp counselors, maybe? Not really sure. 
So I have my axe. You've probably already seen some other things I could use to kill people with. There's the gas tank. There's that box of matches there to light that up. Uh, there's a shotgun that I poked in on, I think. There's this giant box. A bunch of stuff. Dog, come here. You just, you just stay in here. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do this without anyone getting killed. We'll see if that happens, especially if I can't plan for when the killer is going to be here makes it a little bit more difficult. I'll know when he's coming because a bunch of birds, leave me alone red, because a bunch of birds will come out and uh, that's no fun. So we need to do this, take a shit. Gross. That'll get us the teddy bear. Also, the wood chipper, very important. Yeah, X needs to stay there. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to remember every part of the plan because there's kind of three killers. There's like two and a half killers. There's two killers and then one that can screw you up if uh, you're dumb. So we're going to set the old teddy bear right about yay. And then I need to get the axe again because I'm dumb. Yeah, we'll just we'll just swap those. Okay, so take the scythe with me. Swap it for the axe because I need the axe to cut a uh, cut a door down, so I don't need the key. All right. So first of all, we pop in here. We open this box, which contains the second shotgun shell. First one I got out of the. Uh, First one I got out of the uh, drawer. Let me pop in here. Let me get ourselves a shotgun. And we need both shells to complete this. And then we go Let's hide in here. And where is... Okay, he's there. I need to get him the axe. Because you can't really beat a killer with... Well, no, I could take his machete, but still. Don't know what that sound was. It's a lot harder for me to be scared here, because I've put about 30 hours into this game. But it's still a very good game to uh, play. It's very fun. And uh, please support the uh, developer if you like it. There you go, here's an axe. And then have her run back. And head into the bed. So, uh... That... There you go. God damn it. I fucked up. I didn't think walking to the campfire would hurt me. I'll be right back. Alright, I got everything set back up. Characters are switched around slightly. But, uh... Yeah, now we now we wait. I'll, I'll come back whenever the killer decides to show his face. Because, uh... It might be a while. Shit. Alright, I'm back. I fucked up. I fucked up. But I don't know where he went. So I, I was I was I was I was out trying to trigger him? I don't know where he went. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. So there's a few different things I have to do to uh, make sure this goes smoothly, and obviously hasn't worked, but um, first of all, there he is, come here. I ain't so tough when you're trying to hit me with a teddy bear, you bitch. I know you ain't dead, get up. Asshole. Shit. That's fine. I have more people.
You know, something, something, the best laid plans on mice and men, I don't know. Also, she's fucking high and drunk as shit right now. Oops. I messed. This is going to be much harder. Because I fucked up. Alright, come on. Follow me. Follow me, Junior. Let's go. You teddy bear at me all you want. And you're going to do a whole hell of a lot to me. Now, the thing I have to watch out for is Red coming back and just fucking my shit up. Bitch, burn! Burn with me! I think I got him. Yeah, I think I got him. That's not good. So anyway, the study bear makes it so uh, that killer can't really attack you. Which is really good, right? Um, and then I set up the wood chipper at the beginning and placed my characters where I did. Because there's a generator at the other end of the pier. Um, if they turn the power off, then the wood chipper turns off. And it makes my job a lot harder. You're still alive. Fuck. <sighs> okay. Follow me. On your little shit. So without the teddy bear, because I destroyed the teddy bear in that fight. Okay. You can stop beating my ass now, please. Or just kill me. <sighs> Alright. Where you at? He's not dead, by the way. See, this is just an example of how terrible this could go. That, that was the point. I didn't fuck up. And you see, Red is much faster than any other character. So I am fucked. Probably. More than likely. Because the shotgun is kind of a far ways away from me. He does have like a sprint timer, it will run out. Shotgun's not in here, and I'm not hiding under the bed like I thought I was going to. I was hiding on top of the bed, sexily waiting for him. Okay. We have failed. You, your dog, and your friends are dead. Game over. Let's try this again, shall we? Now then, everyone is in where they're supposed to be for me. Where I always expect them to be, at least. And if I'm correct, I should be able to use the bell to summon the first killer. And I can. There's a bell here. If I ring that bell, it'll bring the first killer here. Thank God. Um, where are you? Okay. So I'm very quickly going to go set everything back up again. And I will be back after I hit the bell and summon the killers. Alright, we've got everything in place. Everyone's all ready. I'm gonna hit the bell. Hide her. And there he is. Okay. So, he's gonna run at me. And he's gonna grab the bear. He's very upset. He really likes that bear, though. So then I'm gonna grab this. I'm going to run under this and very quickly change characters. Drop that on his fucking head. And wait a second. Because he's going to spring back up. He's still moving. 
he walked right past that bear. That's annoying. Uh, come on. Follow me. There goes my leg. I don't need it. I don't need it. Yes, beat me to death with my own leg, please. So I'm not dead. Come on. You know, I have like half a face left, but... Okay, he is dead. Where did he go? He moves real fast. So as soon as you summon the baby, I don't know what his actual, like his canon name is, but when, after you summon him, his dad, question mark, is summoned very quickly after. And he, like you've probably seen before, is much, much tougher. Oh, and he is going to be upset when he finds me. Yeah, there he is. There you go. Alright, Red. Let's go. Follow me. Yep, you got his bear. I don't know if he'll do damage with that or not, but uh, I need him to follow me. Come on, camera guy. Let's go. I know, I killed your son, and you're very upset by this, but you are trying to murder me. I'm gonna try and juke him by the bathrooms. There's various I could kill him a few different ways. Especially now that he's lost a leg and he's much slower. But, uh, there's one surefire way to do it. Hey. Where are you going? Hey, come here. You want revenge, right? Follow me. Revenge is this way. Hobble your one-legged ass this way. Is that going, motherfucker? I missed, because I'm bad. That's unfortunate. Uh, this game's not nearly access, it's just a little buggy. He's still alive, by the way. That didn't work. Thankfully there's no other killers. Well, there's one other kind of killer that will come. But uh, no one that will, uh... No one that will come and, like, find me. Unfortunate. My dream. Wrong one. Well, he could work, but you dead? Nope, still up, huh? That's annoying. Um, uh, yeah. All right, follow me. Let's go. I thought those were. I gotta juke him again. Come here. Come on. He doesn't really go in buildings either. He kind of just walks the grounds, which is nice, because the other guy will like actively like chase you. Which is a tad bit annoying. Well, it's not that he won't chase. It's not that he chases you. It's that 
he will... go into buildings and like try to find weapons and shit. Well, this guy, especially when he's upset, will just try to walk the grounds and find you. And I really need him to actually fucking follow me here. I also need... I also need the best yeet ever. I need this yeet to be a Kobe. Yeah! Got there. Got him. She cannot take that. Hopefully I didn't fuck up. Oh, the nice, nice serene music. There. I had to put the body out. It's also important I don't change characters right now. At least I think so. Ah, oh, that knife would have worked. Oh well. If I wanted to be canon about it, I could have used the axe, but whatever. Mm, okay, we're good. We're in the clear. We're safe. Okay, so I need to position a character here. I'm going to have to tie up both. That's not important. And hey, look! There's a nice lady, and if I stood in front of her, she would murder me and end the game immediately. Instead, I'm going to kill this bitch. And I can just keep going. And that... All those. That is Red, his pregnant wife, and their two children. They will be entangled to the story later. Lakeview Cabin 2. All that stuff. And... Uh, uh, not the game that I played for three parts, a different one. It's confusing. Anyways, that was Lakeview Cabin 3. Next time we'll be doing Lakeview Cabin 4. But thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter. I am at MoBobby8. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Like I said, in the next part we'll be doing Lakeview Cabin 4. The game within this game, not the actual game. That would be the fourth game. It's very confusing. Thank you, good night. Also, I got Lake of the Dead. I don't really play the bonus ones, to be honest.